1992 Lincoln Sand was close AM in reverse, graded in mean state 64 red and brown by PCGS, a near gem example of this elusive modern key issue, important as a guidebook variety and widely sought by Lincoln Sand specialists. The cherry picker's reference notes that the reverse design of 1993 was employed on some circulation strike 1992 cents. Letters A and M in America are close to each other, almost touching. This elusive gem ended up selling for $22,800. Here is 1927 S. Lincoln penny in MS65 red condition. This penny used to be a gem from Tom Merchant Collection, 1927 S. Lincoln Sand, graded as MS65 red, is indeed considered a valuable coin. The S mint mark indicates that it was minted in San Francisco. The red designation signifies that the coin has retained its original copper red color to a significant extent. In general, coins from earlier years tend to be more valuable due to their scarcity and historical significance. This Lincoln cent is no exception. It ended up selling for $9,600 1954s Washington Quarter in MS68 condition, beautifully toned, though versus layered in olive copper patina with softer blue-gray, gold and pale pink highlights that are most readily evident at direct viewing angles. The reverse is brilliant and both sides are equally well preserved to border on pristine. Sold for $12,000. 1953 S. Franklin half dollar in MS65 condition with full bell lines. Also an available date in context of Syria, this San Francisco issue is anything but common with full bell lines designation. The 1953 S. has a reputation as being the weakest struck date in Syria, a fact that's borne out by a low number of full bell lines grading events at either service. The strike is unusually sharp on this luster gem coin, with both definition on all of the raised elements inc including the touchstone bell lines. It ended up selling for $14,100. 1972 Lincoln Sand was double diverse, graded as MS67 plus red by PCGS and proven by CC for Excelsior. A Georgia's fire red and olive green superb gem. Both sides appear devoid of contact and carbon is virtually absent. Among Lincoln Sands, only the 1955S FS101 exhibits more prominent dye doublings than the 1972S FS101. Other double dye varieties are known for the 1972, but none compare with guidebook listed FS101. This highly sought after gem was bargained for $9,600. Number 14, nicely toned. 1963D Washington Quarter, graded in mean state 67 by PCGS, with a mintage of excess of 135 million pieces, it is wonder that so few superb examples have been certified of the 1963D. This is a well-preserved piece whose softly frosted mint luster has a significant presence of golden rose toning around the margins. It ended up selling for $9,400. An error nickel, 2000p Jefferson nickel struck on a 1978 Lincoln cent, graded as MS65 red and brown by Anex. An error that presumably required some help either from meat worker or mischievous meat visitor, since the cent host was struck 22 years before its nickel overstrike. The 1978 cent date is faint but legible near the back of Jefferson's head. A lustrous near gem with dusky gold and lilac red toning. It ended up selling for $12,075. 1999P Susan B. Anthony dollar struck on Saka Javier dollar planchette. Fully lustrous golden color with bold cartwheel and a nice bold strike. Scattered bag marks are present, non individually serious. And the eye appeal is easily that of a gem or finer. The strike on this piece is different from that encountered on other specimens. It was sold for $10,350. 1927s Lincoln cent in MS65 plus red condition. The 1927s cent is challenging issue to acquire in full red condition. And at the gem level such pieces are major rarities. No higher grade pieces are known with full red surfaces. The finest of the red gems are 3 plus graded pieces at PCGS, set in luster bounds on each side, yielding orange gold, rose, and faint greenish hues, all of which fall into red color category. It was sold for $36,000. 1963 Washington Quarter in mid state 67. Attractive crescents of orange copper and golden olive iridescence decorate the peripheries of this otherwise brilliant and frosty example. Also, the Denver Mint struck a large total of 
135,288,184 million two hundred and eighty eight thousand hundred and eighty four quarters in 1963 precious few have been preserved with enough care to secure a superb gem rating from PCGS a find for an astute specializing in the 90% silver Washington quarter series it was sold for eight thousand and four hundred dollars